Yeah. MMA Viking. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Life is so crazy. One seconds you can be on the top, and then seconds after you can be down on the bottom. But that's life. You know, and now it's a new chapter in my life. Next week, Saturday, I'm gonna cut the head of uh, uh, Norman Park. Norman Park, that rat. You know, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go there to bring your head home. The crowd doesn't fight for you inside the octagon. It's just me and you. Was there specific messages? I saw he sent like a Louis, bring me a Louis Vuitton. Hey, I want a Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Okay, lady, I want to bring you back. Lady back if you want. If you want a lady back, I want to bring a lady back. So, don't worry. If you want to stand up and boxing, I swear. We're standing and boxing, no problem. No problem at all. He talked about Michael John Johnson want to murder, murder me. But he's, the fact, go back and see what i done to him. But what you think what he's going to do, blah, blah. It's just your dream. The reality is I beat him up and I'm going to beat you up too. That's the reality. Uh, do you feel added pressure in this fight, this being your comeback, your headlight in the no, no. I Like I told the other journalists, I had a f fight every day in my life, last two years. Every day, every minute, you know. And Brother, I don't want to be cocky, but I'm a, I'm a warrior. I'm born for this shit. So it doesn't matter if I fought for 10 years ago. I'm always ready. Ask my manager. They can call me in the middle of the night. I'm there. I'm one of kind. And that's true. Do you know anybody else have been gone to the prison? This, that. Was behind, yes, last year's this time, I was behind the bars. And now I'm here, standing, fighting, and let's do it. So, unfortunately for you, Norman, just find the other job. You have one week to find something else. Otherwise, you can't work for me. What would what, what he be doing for you? Yeah, you can't keep my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be for Christian and Marcelo, I did only three sparring, three, five minutes. I swear to God, because we didn't have any cage, any opponent, nothing. You know, we didn't have any club to train. You know that, you was there. It was just a submission club, BGG club. You know, I was uh, forced to call people, arrange people to come, please, can you help me uh, hold the pads and, you know, put to have always been there for me, my head coach. And that time, we and Andreas Mikey was a different gym, a different uh, team. Now we are together, man. He's the, one of my coaches. And this guy did a lot of stuff for me, Andreas Mikey. Uh, but this, uh, uh, one month before uh, Michael Johnson, then we, everybody moved together and we built up All-Star. Now I can say, come and watch my training, the possibility I have and uh, all the guys I train with. So, because I say I'm much, much, much uh, more ready, more than ever, and, uh, I cannot complain about any kind of training. You know? So I just need to come down to the training and get my ass kicked. Good luck to you, Reza Madani. It's brother. always a pleasure speaking with you. Yeah. 11 days uh, until the big event headline yeah. and the prelims of this big show in Dublin. And exactly. good luck to you. Thank you. And I have a message for Norman. If you want a pink or red bag, I want to bring it for him.